Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. This is Devo from Logic Droids. This game is one of the entrants in the Level Up 2011 contest. It is currently available on Steam in demo form, and we are playing said demo for you here on Try It. So after that splash screen, you're probably saying, what the hell is this game? Well, the developer describes it as an unusual, bright, and dynamic arcade game. And while it is all of those things, I would probably describe it with one simple word. Fun. You know, this game doesn't take itself too seriously. It isn't trying to redefine any genres. It's just here, and it's offering you 10 to 20 minutes of enjoyable gameplay in small, bite-sized sessions. Some might call that casual. Some might use casual as a negative thing. However, I do not. Yes, this is a casual arcade game which stars an amazing peace sign throwing hamster with a sci-fi helmet on and reflective goggles. But look at him there. Look at him standing so proudly behind beside his techno hamster wheel. I mean, if that doesn't sell you the whimsy of this game, then I don't know what will. Well, maybe this music will. Take a listen. Are you bobbing your head and thrusting your hips? I know I am. And you know, while that music isn't something I would slide into my tape deck and listen to on a daily basis, it definitely fits the style of this game and it drives the action forward. So uh, you know, this is Try It, so we're not really about uh, deeply analyzing this game, we're just about giving you a slice of the demo so you can decide whether or not you want to try it. See what I did there? It's the title of the show and then... Right. So moving on to the action, let's get down to it. I am a couple of levels into the game, just really barely touched it. I will start with level one. It is a little bit of a tutorial, but it's a good place for me to demonstrate the concepts behind the game. So without any further ado, let's go. So here we are, we are in our hamster wheel and we are ascending a cylindrical tower. Why? Apparently, it's something that hamsters do by instinct. I, I'm not really sure. Now, you can use the mouse, actually, left button and right button, to control this game, and it actually works surprisingly well. I am, however, going to use the keyboard, the arrow keys, for the purposes of this demonstration. Left and right to move left and right, and up to jump. Nice and simple. This is a fairly straightforward arcade score challenge game, essentially, uh, trying to get as much score as possible and also mind your time spent in the level. So let's move forward. Let's propel our hamster up, up, up the tower. Huh. A ramp crab. Oh, crap. Took some of my life away there. That's never fun. Whoa. For a high jump, get close to the force of... Okay. Whoa. All right. Hey, life. Excellent. Add a little life. Grab some score power-ups. Everything's going well in my hamster's life. Oh no! Except for his inability to make that jump. There we go. Jump into the portal and we go around, around, around the tower and find ourselves back over here. The gameplay here is basic and it is simple. It is uh, approachable. It's easy to understand. And it does have its interesting moments, like, for instance, this mechanic that we're adding right here. The ability to go into magnet mode. Once in magnet mode, as you might imagine, I can stick to these metallic surfaces. However, not all surfaces are metallic. For instance, magnets don't stick to stone, so I cannot stick to this stone wall. Makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. So we're going to move on through the level, continuing to collect score and mind our time. Now there's an interesting sort of trade-off here that you uh, that you kind of start to see within the game, which is there are very often score power-ups that clearly require backtracking. And because the game is also timing you, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, you really have to sort of weigh out that balance. It's a cost-benefit analysis, I suppose. How much is this worth versus the amount of time I waste going back to get it? And in other things, like there's a time power-up, I could drop down to get that, but how much time is it going to take me to get back up here, and is it going to be worth it? It's the interesting sort of second level that this game has to it that isn't necessarily automatically visible when you first play. 
you know, it, it is a simple arcadey game, but there's a little bit of thinking you can do. You can sort of micromanage your performance, if you will. We're going to add up our score, score, score here. Love it. There are leaderboards and all that jazz, the sort of stuff that a game like this definitely benefits from. Now, we've been through the first level, and you've pretty much seen what this game has to offer. It will continue to refine its concept, but essentially, you are a hamster in a crazy sci-fi hamster wheel, and you will continue to collect score and ascend various towers. So you will notice here, uh, some blocks is good for jumping. Now, the developers for this game are clearly not native English speakers, and that's okay. I have a lot of respect for anybody who approaches English as a second language, or any language as a second language, and I also have a lot of respect for developers who try to get their games translated into other languages so that they can share them with the maximum amount, amount of people. The fact that that says is instead of are does not detract from my gameplay experience, and the only reason I point it out is just to let you guys know my feelings on it. I don't need a perfect English translation of a game which did not originate here. I am not that sort of a cock American. I understand uh, that not everybody speaks English in the world, and I am perfectly okay with that. So, we introduced another, another uh, little wrinkle here, this jumpy, woven piece of uh, blockery. And it's going to continue to do that throughout the rest of the game. It's going to introduce little basic changes to its concept, little additional things uh, that are going to help the game to sort of blossom and get its uh, get its uniqueness out there in front of you. Because at its, at its core, this is just a run through and collect score game. And they're going to do their little things to differentiate themselves from other such games. Another one of these damn ramp crabs. And jump. Woo, all right. Into the teleporter, up, up, up we go. And we will continue to move forward, continue to play, continue to collect score, mind our time, and continue to move. Oh, no, no, no. Ow. No, I'm dying. There we go. All right, escaped. That was close. Oh, that worked out nicely. Yeah, look at me. Oh, hello. Oh, I like that. That was nice. So again, the game is doing some interesting stuff. I like that little windmill right there. I uh, don't think I've actually seen that before. So that was a really cool element. And as you can see, the game is going to continue to add that sort of stuff. It's not, again, trying to redefine its genre, but it's doing a great job at just being an enjoyable title. It really is a fun time. I would love to see this game make it into a full and complete release version. And I really look forward to the opportunity to actually play it if it ever does. Now, I really don't think there's anything more to say about this game. It is... Well, it's all right here in front of you. I mean, Techno Hamster ascends tower, and that's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, that's enough of a tagline for any game, right? So, guys, this has been Devo, one of the... Is it Devo, or is it Div... Or is it Divo? I think it's Devo. I think it's Devo, like, a male diva. I, I don't know. If you have any insight, leave it in the comments below. I, I need to start be doing that, right? I need to do that sort of YouTube thing, right? If, if I'm going to get people to watch my videos, I got I to gotta be like a YouTube guy, like, hey, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hey, if you want to do this, do this in the comments below. Hey, like me on Facebook. Find, follow me on Twitter, right? Right? Yeah. Ugh. So, <laughs> oh no, falling almost to my death. So guys, let me go ahead and end this because I'm just sort of taking it to a place that it wasn't intended to go. This has been Devo. I am an awesome hamster in a techno hamster wheel. I have enjoyed my time with this game. It is one of the Level Up 2011 games, probably the last one we will play this week. Hope you've enjoyed this little mini try it marathon this week here on Big Davies Cheap. And until next time, take it easy.